today I'm back with me is daily trading. Let's have fun and let's go. I don't want okay. And solve puzzles meanwhile. Wow, <laughs> it's a long puzzle. No, it was queen g6, queen e6 mate. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, but bishop g6 was a nice starting move. Ah, okay. Kings. Okay. Uh oh. <gasps> C3 or something? Oh, this is an H5, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, must trick. Okay, play against... <laughs> okay, play against Las Harfarach. Okay, hello, good luck. Okay. Okay. Let's castle. Here. Uh, 
Okay. D5 idea. Okay, that definitely looks playable. Run touch. Nope. Sorry, mouse slips happen. I'm sorry, but also had a ton of mouse slips and no one did take backs. Switch chess. Sorry. 92 or 95? 95 I hang a knight, 92 I hang a knight. Huh, that's interesting. Ninety two, I think. I'm not sure why. Ah. Uh -huh. What's the difference? Okay, just give up. Last hard parag. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at the game of Can Master Puff Morrissey in this night on charge? I'll be back, see you in a minute.
that looks like a very interesting position. <laughs> okay. It's actually slightly better. Hmm. Okay, zero five, zero two, but twenty five. Okay. Um. Think so? No, wait. His bishop doesn't hang. Okay, just did a move and uh, it was actually correct. Ooh, that's good. Oh, 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 oh! Pow! Let's go! Uh oh, it's like another 2500 puzzle. Well, I'm so confused, like, when they took into one, nb3, there, 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 play rook c8, he plays in d2, he plays queen b2, he plays in one, take, take, gf. What's the material? Four or five pawns? I didn't win any pawn, even, <laughs> because right now my piece down. But queen e 2 looks like it has to be played. That's as well. I mean, rook up c8, yep. B6, yeah, queen B6, king D2, queen B4, king D3, queen. Huh. King E3 is then queen F4. Uh oh, what is this? Queen F. Oh, I didn't even consider. I didn't see this check at all. Oops. Oh, G4. I was like a bit scary to do. Why was 1888 puzzle? <laughs> okay. Oh, that should be like. Wait, Legal Smith, right? Yeah, I think it in prison. Yeah, I think it's Legal Smith. Some, somewhere, or at least ideas of it. Something, <laughs> something with it. At least partly. It was bishop. Oh, that was so simple. <laughs> oh, did I see that? Oh, that looks pretty nice. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, play bishop b2. That's definitely better, but I thought my wins rook d1. Ah, oh, okay. I rushed. Okay, let's not rush. I will solve this puzzle for for sure. I'm relatively sure in myself. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Mate, that was a really perfect start. So I mean, a perfect, but very good start. The end was, um, let's say, not the best.
7 fails, 6 correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was this crazy game. Like, somehow... An HG5 here, White had no time. Ah, that's why how White lost. And they again were winning, but they just lost some time. Okay, so now it's my game against Las Har Farah. Okay, so I mean, F3 is a bit weird. Yeah, I think taking an end like F4 or something like this is a nice idea. This E5, then I want to D5 immediately. But here I didn't like d6 move, and I'm pretty sure it's better. No, queen d8 is actually equal, but okay. So this, 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 and then something weird happened, and he played queen d5 instead of, yeah. Queen e1, why do I have five lines? I have, to be honest, zero idea. And then this a5, a4, and here it would be equal. So let's analyze. I'm so. Oh, I'm so not. Oh, word. Wait, download row. I'm so not used to this scene not being, being at the top and not download at the bottom because I'm super used to clicking download or share and export button now at the bottom so it's really unusual. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try to see deeply. So, C5 here. I mean, yes. Wow! I actually didn't even think about it. I just made this? I thought you played Knight of 3, Knight C3. <laughs> but you played Knight C3, Knight of 3. Mm -hmm. And C6. D4. So, A6, yeah. Yep, uh, this. Then... I'm confused, okay. Uh, bishop b2. Mm -hmm. This. So, this idea is to play f4 and this stuff. I'm playing bishop b4 with this idea of taking and taking terms like this. Playing against this, probably. Uh, knight a4 is a good move, even though this is. Yeah, what did you do? Even though this isn't good for him, I cannot take. Because it's a straight blunder, because this, and if you take C, just queen d4, and you see, these are the weaknesses, and he attacks them, and if I play B, takes the same, same stuff, and if I play queen C6, there is knight B6, great move, then I have to play rook B8, and then after I play rook B8, he has queen d4, and like bishop f8 so I don't lose the pawn and he has bishop f3 and uh, now my knight is a big weakness and the queen is pinned as well so f5 he does this g6 is a blunder because queen is shade so g6 isn't good so king d8 let's promote it and then after rook d1 look at my pieces they are all bad and basically it's just winning but after knight a4 there is just castle um, and then after c4, he goes bishop e7, he goes like knight c3 or something. I go back, he goes back, I go back, then he plays like queen c2, for example. Maybe repetition isn't super needed. Knight e5, and then after h3, he's a bit better. Not much though. So, okay, I castled. And 6, in my opinion, was like small inaccuracy because it was a weird move. I think a3 is better. And then after bishop c5, like queen d2. Because my bishop on c5 is usually not super well placed, and b for this, maybe b3, and it feels like it's a bit better because my pieces are really like in one place, and yeah. I took and then in my opinion that was an inaccuracy. Because, yeah, like knight d5 is the same idea, knight b6 uh, would be much, knight a4 would be much better, and d5, bishop b6, queen e7, c4, I go back, and probably like that's pretty much equal position. I play e5, takes, takes, c5. It's really hard to understand it, but I think I will say it's edge because he has a good pawn, I have a good pawn. It's bishop, bishop c5 threat or something, so yeah, queen a3, that's unclear. Unclear position. But okay, he played bishop d4, then I really 
like the move Stockfish suggests. I think that's an accuracy. Mm, it says a d5, which is interesting. Or bishop d6, which is interesting as well. After bishop d6, he has a g3. Otherwise, it's worse. Because if, like, h3, that's a big mistake. Because knight h5 and his dark squares are all weak. So knight h5 and I'm slightly better. So g3. And play here, here, and I play bishop e7, knight a4, b8. I'm taking control of a b file, but after he plays c4, d5, we take, take, take bishop h3, rook e1, bishop b4. He doesn't have much space for his rook. This queen c1, bishop e3, this rook b2, bishop a6, queen a5. I know it's getting too deep, probably no one would ever calculate that deep. And after this, it's just like equal. Because yeah, he has a pawn, he has a bit worse pawn structure, but there's no way he can win. d5 would be best, actually, if he just takes on f6, that's my take. And after queen d2, I play king g7, and I have two bishops, and I should be slightly better. Um, it says king h1 is interesting, uh, but after e5, bishop g1, I take, I take, 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 take and I win a pawn, and I'm slightly better. Um, but yeah, so e5 would be bet d5 would be the best. Uh, okay, I play d5, he played bishop e What am I clicking? I'm clicking on mouse button. That's, I mean, d5 would be interesting. And after c takes d, rook d8, that makes sense. This I take with the bishop, this, this. This bishop c5, very nice move. Queen c1, queen a7. Takes, takes, king h1, bishop e6, and I'm just slightly better because I have better pieces. I played bishop 3, he took, takes. That's another inaccuracy from him. He had to go for bishop g5 to attack my knight to make this weaknesses. Knight h5 is the best continuation, actually. He takes d h6 here, queen d5, queen d5, cd, queen d5, sorry, uh, for some mistakes, and then bishop c4. And have the compensation because he has double pawns. I have a good knight, and I have the open files. So yeah, after my ideas, rook a8 this, and I'm I'm the one who is putting pressure sink, and then, yeah, rook d8 is actually an inaccuracy as well. <laughs> I need to play rook e8 and queen d3 again. Knight h5, great move with knight f4 idea, and that's a very nice idea. Which he didn't say. And queen d5 was just a blunder from him. I don't know. He said it's a wrong touch. He to go for queen one of course. And if I take, he takes. And after I take, he just says bishop c4. And he's actually winning. Look at that. And after knight c5, he takes, 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 takes queen f2. That's a beautiful idea. Which I think we both didn't see. <laughs> um, because I think I would take. That's a mistake. Though that's a blunder. I have bishop g4 somehow. And this is, but anyways, is just better here because my knight is out of play. But instead of d takes f h6 or a5, probably a5 is more cool, I think. Um, then bishop b3 h6, rook b1, rook e8 a4, bishop b6, and yeah, um, this queen f2. Takes bishop c5, this is, and basically draw. Because, yep, yeah, he has weak pawns, but I cannot use them. But after c takes he just gave up, and I wonder if he lost Harfarach. He's from, I don't know, GG. So it is my game, so delicious games with analysis, I guess. It was first in non games, so just go wait. My game, so Lich has. Am I blind? Eh? Yes, I am. No way, I didn't. Yes, I'm just calm. Boop. No. Uh, my game's delicious. I am blind, kind of. It's 215 or 14. I think it seems like this. It's 80. Kind of close. Cool. Mm, now, I think I will go to computer and play against level 22. I'll try my best. Of course, when it's random color, I always play with black. That's not random color, just come. That's. hmm, sus. 
it's rigged. Wait, I'm missing. Okay, six. Let's see if he'll play in 18-4. Takes. Took his B pawn, I think it was mid 94. No, this. Mm, interested! I haven't checked that line! Hmm. I don't really like the position. That's a bit unpleasant choice. I want e5. I cannot play d6. I mean, I guess I technically can take stakes. 50,000 captures, takes, takes, takes. Um, maybe? Maybe. Just maybe. But at the end of this variation, hold on, let me remember it. Boop, 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 takes, 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 I forgot to. He takes with rook, I take, he takes with bishop, I take, he plays rook c1, that's weak, that's my bishop hangs. I like bishop before he plays rook c5, play king e7, and he just two passers, I have not seen. So, I think I'll play queen 6. Okay, that's the line I kind of miss, this, 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 queen d7. I'm not sure if I lose there though, anything. Let's check again. <gasps> Wrong mouse button. Uh, takes queen d7, king of fate. Mate thread, this hangs, this hangs. That looks pretty fine ish. Did I miss anything? I guess I kinda did. I kinda didn't. <laughs> um, I guess I did miss f3. And I, I mean, I didn't miss f3 as a move, but I didn't see it would be 7. Continuation. Hmm, maybe rook b8 wasn't that good. Oh. <laughs> that looks kind of scary, not gonna lie. Like, queen e7 is a threat, I guess. I, I will play with queen b6. Oh, and he has the A-passer. Oh, that's not good at all. Ow. I haven't thought about it. Okay, let's play G6. Ay, ay, ay. And he plays a7, bishop c4. <laughs> and that's not the position I was dreaming of when I was going for this variation. Well, I think I have to. Oh, wow. He doesn't even go for it. Hmm, can I show bishop d8? Didn't I lose? I mean, I'm worse, anyways. I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Huh, it's actually equal, isn't it? No. I'll play h6. I'll provoke. Ah, that's that's so sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so now he has the G three weakness. He doesn't want to get. Oh, he does. Ha! Huh. I jinxed it, <laughs> kind of. Okay, now let's play bishop d6 and then. Okay, g5. That's. That's. 
easier draw than I thought. Let's go, Dragon's level 22. That's pretty nice. Wow, I think I was lost. I think he probably just didn't play well enough to win. Okay, can you please play C5? <laughs> okay, I bet we're doing 50 moves. I bet we are. Oh. Okay, King E6. Can we go to C5, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, that's Komodo. What did you wait from him? <laughs> he likes to troll. Well, kinda it's a troll. Technically it's not. He's trying to win it. But <laughs> how, how will he how how does he even dream to win it? I have bishop on a3 and before I have the whole diagonal for my bishop. Um yeah, I think I have a plan, I'll just do this. I can pre-move. Yep, yep. I have to be careful when I seek in d4. If I seek in d4. I seek in e4. And now I seek in d4. But okay. There you go. Oh! <laughs> it scares me so much when you play skin d4. Okay. Oh, wait! <laughs> no! It's so sneaky! Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was like, wait, it got to say that it is like 50 move rule. Definitely. <laughs> That's actually pretty sneaky. Wait, 101. And last time he moved the pawn was 101. <laughs> but thanks, to, thank you. I appreciate that you gave me the bish. Oh no! Ow! Save game. Let's see. Did I save it? Yes, I did. That's how to smart brain. There you go. Otherwise, I, I don't know how I would analyze the game. But boom. Even though it's saved, but I don't mind seeing how yeah how long I was defending, how hard it was. Just moving bishop before c5 all the time. Like 99? Well, definitely not 99. But like 94, 95, I'm pretty sure is possible because I played middle game really not well, in my opinion. It was like worse. And I really got lucky in the end game that he played a 97 actually. Ooh, that's good. Wait, yeah. I mean, that was a complete draw. Yeah, yeah. A7 was a blunder, it was just plus one. Okay! Let's analyze the game, I guess. So. So, bishop d6 was a mistake. I had to go for c5, queen c4, castle. And then I guess, like, idea something like that. Try to break through. So, g3, c5. g3 mistake, okay. Sorry for speaking fast. I was thinking this. And see, castle was some good, but queen d2. It's a bit of an unpleasant move, kinda. And then castle, <coughs> rook a d1, bishop b4. Oh, yeah, and this and a3. Oh, no slip, sorry. Um, and then, yeah, this is better because he has much more pleasant position because I have, like, no space. c5. And then there was pretty good. Queen c6, knight e4. Okay, that was actually all equal. Hmm. I think I started panicking way too early. So, yeah, queen b6 blunder. I just had to stay sharp. And after queen a7... Oh, I had rook e8 move. Yeah, I definitely just... I definitely didn't miss it. <laughs> oh, kind of did. Hold on. H5 best. Queen A7 here, but that's kind of unpleasant because when I've seen him, I put all my pieces to a bishop and then rook, rook D8 takes. Takes Queen C5. I mean, that's pleasant, but what if he like plays Rook D1? Then G5. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, okay. That's, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I was completely lost here. I understood it. Yeah, maybe c4 would be a bit better try because I have bishop c5 and then at least have bishop controlling a7 as well because this, now I'm completely lost. a7 was a blunder, he had to go for f4. 
Then, if I would go for C for now, I could take them here, but took D2, and that could probably last forever, because I'm kind of holding a, fortner, a fortress, but it is really hard to hold it. And as you can see, if I scroll like channel moves, you would get to this position and eventually it would be a draw. But it would be kind of hard to do. So, but okay, played A7. So even after F4, I'm not lost if I find C4 move. Otherwise, I am. Yeah, but he would just play bishop c3, c4, and I'm completely lost, I think. I don't have this, e6, I thread, so I'm completely lost. So I think a better try here would be c4, and probably somehow slowly, very hard, but I would hold the draw eventually. Because what happened in the game, you played a7, then I have c4, and if he just takes, that was my idea, rook a7. And that's a complete draw. He takes, I take back, I give a check, and then I take the rook. But okay, he played king g2. I'm trying to be sneaky. Wait. <coughs> I thought. I didn't see it. Wait, maybe I did. I, I kind of forgot. Um, I think I would, I would play like bishop d8 or something. It's still a complete draw. Uh, uh, maybe I didn't remember. Maybe I did see rook a7. I don't remember now already. Uh, okay, bishop d8. Then rook b7, but then I play bishop of 6. <coughs> rook d7, repeat. He tried bishop c4, but then I play bishop d4. At least I take on a7, takes. Rook b4 is definitely an option. But. But yeah, that's. That, that would just be a longer version of our game. Even though it was long enough. So, and then I basically have my bishop on c5, and he has no way to win. Because if he starts playing, like, for example, here, king d3. And this, it's of course still a complete draw, but if he tries to go more, I already have a chance to win. The thing was here, that he played king f3, this and then he played king e2, I was like, hmm, that's weird, he gives away a pawn. But this and I lose after king f2, actually, because my bishop is trapped. I think that was uh, Spassky Fisher, very famous, I think also bishop endgame or something. Uh, but okay, I, this, I didn't fall for it, and... Um, and then things to him, he just traded the pawns away, and then we were just walking back and forth. I was so scared, right, right here somewhere, I think. No, I think in five moves. Yeah, I was scared here. That he played king e4, and he played king d4. And I was like bishop c5, and I was like, oh uh oh, he might play king c3, and my pre move bishop b4 is a lose. But okay, I played king d5, and then I kept removing. And it was pretty sneaky from him that if I made just a random move, it's pretty move roll. But I took a pawn, I thought it would say just insufficient material to win, and it would just hit the draw. <laughs> but I didn't. And then I, I, I just understood that let's play for 10 more minutes. But thanks to him, it would just sack the bishop and then I draw. But. That was a pretty nice game, 9-7 for both of us, I didn't say 9-7, zero brilliant, too great for each of us, no way, that's so muska, two, uh, zero brilliant for each of us, too great for each of us, 71 best move for him, 70 for me, 14 excellent for him, 13 for me, 4 good move for him, 6 for me, 9 good move for him, book move for him, 8 for me, and then 1 accuracy, 1 mistake, 1 blunder, and 0 miss wins for each of us. So we had brilliant moves, great moves, missed wins, blunders, inaccuracies, and mistakes the same. And, wow, I had more good moves on 2, but book was, book excellent and best, were just 1 to him. That was a pretty clean game. Yeah. So, 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 I think it was a pretty decent stream. Why do I do open preferences? I don't know. Hope you enjoyed it. If it isn't, yeah, please join on chess. Pesh catch my club name is 172 members. Thank you all very, very much. 28 more members, I'm a total of 1,100 members. So, if you could join, we'll be very happy. And also, please join in my club at chess.com. Tihan Fun Club, now my clubs are 167 members. Thank you all very, very much. 33 members, and I will make total of 200 members. So, feel 
absolutely free to join, I will be very happy. And thank you for following all chess on YouTube and on Twitch. And as usual, click the like button and subscribe to me on this channel, you please chess. Love to come and also please my video so to get notifications when I start streaming on Twitch and when post videos on YouTube, link in the description. And yeah, bye bye, come guys, see you soon, see you tomorrow, see you soon, 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 see you so